We're taking a look at the Intech brand right now, and we're looking at one of the travel trailers and taking a look at the Intech brand right now and we're looking at one of the travel trailers and it's really eerie. This is almost the identical size and layout of our 28 foot Airstream. What do you think about it, Michelle? Yeah, it's really, it's, it's more uh, European feel inside, but uh, yeah. It's but very similar. Very similar. A lot of the same textures they use and the same curves and different things. A lot of windows, very open, very light and bright, which is one of the things we really like about our Airstream. But let's take a look around. So this is the separate, has a separate toilet sink area. The split bath right there. There's some stainless steel sink. And then the same Dometic toilet we have in our Airstream and uh, very, very European or almost like a cruise ship. Right, right. That's what it, it reminds me of, like we're on a ship <laughs> with the round and, and then of course the nice big fridge too. It's about, about the size that we have. I think so. Yeah. Freezer. Nice. It's really clever with all the which was all lit, LED lit, very nice lighting. And then it's got built-in bungee cords. That's clever to hold everything in. We'll walk through this way. Shower's right here. Shower. Let's get the light on in there. And then the shower is uh, very similar. Again, a seat, use of the wheel well right there to create a shower seat. And then uh, pretty nice. Now I am 6'2 and I can stand up in that shower so we can fit. Bedroom, it's right here. There's a TV. This must pull out from the wall for easy watching. Queen size bed, nightstand on each side and storage above. And then um, there's a closet area here. Can you show inside that, Michelle? Yes. So because of the shallowness to make the to make this as wide as possible, they've opted to use hooks to hang things from. Um, so that'd be more like coat storage in there, I think. So no bar to hang clothes at once. Yeah, that's the only thing I would say I'm not seeing in here is any place for hanging you think you can lift that up? I think so. Wow. Nice storage Look underneath. Look at that. Right to me, let's escape. Pretty amazing. Yeah. So Michelle and I, as we're walking around outside at the Florida RV Super Show, we ran into one of our favorite things, and that's Harvest Host, and this is Alyssa Hi. here at Harvest Host. And Harvest Host is one of our favorite things. In fact, we just came recently from a Harvest Host in Tennessee. I was telling you about the East Coast Distillery. Oh, so yeah. moonshine. Moonshine. It was <laughs> my our first time ever trying moonshine. I thought it was gonna like burn like fire from the sun, but it was actually pretty smooth. Really surprised. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. So you've been with Harvest Host for how long? Uh, about two years now. About two years. I actually love it. I'm a full timer myself. Full timer. And an airstreamer. And she is an airstreamer. We were surprised by that. We didn't know that. So Alyssa, thanks very much. Thank you, Jim. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you, and we love your service. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, you're very welcome. the Gretsch display right here at the RV Super Show in Florida. And I'll tell you what, these are really nice. If we were ever to consider um, getting rid of the Airstream, we might seriously consider one of these units. 
Let's take a look inside. All right, let's All right. go inside. actually fit quite a bit of stuff in here for it being just a van. Ooh. Big cupboards. This is a push button. That's cool. Those are those nice marine Yeah, ones. they hide away. That's what Rich at Love Subbin talks about. He wishes that yeah. more RV manufacturers would use these. Yeah, that's nice. They're really solid, heavy doors, too. What do we got here on this side? This is open. Okay, so here's the fridge. Oh, just like that. Oh, that's pretty good size. You got your fan here. Freezer. And then probably the bathroom here. Yeah. Probably have to come through. Around. Yeah. head. <laughs> it's a little low for you. A little low for me, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. We got microwave here, countertop, stovetop, and then the bathroom. Looks like it's just the bathroom. Yep. It's a wet bath. Is very it? serviceable. And then storage all the way around here, and you've got your seating and TV. And then that probably folds down into the bed. I think so. One thing I notice about this, because it's the van, I'm over six feet tall, and this is a little little snug for me, duck through. And uh, so that might be Come a, forward even to the, yeah. Hindrance, like we are. Tall people. Yeah, we are six foot two. Luckily, that's that's padded at least. <laughs> so I won't hurt my head too bad, but uh, this was not padded when I ran into it. Now, Michelle, you wanted to show me this cupboard over here as well, too, yep. right? Look at this. It's got the a corner curve. They made good use of the space here. There's a hanging closet and then lots of shelves. Look, there's also a sliding screen door. Isn't that cool? keeps the bugs out. So this opens up to all the connections are inside the door. And that's and then, all stainless steel too. Right and there's in there. a way to prop that up. Nice. And then it all tucks right away. And you can lock that. I gotta meet you by tomorrow noon And cut through all this red tape at a bar called O'Malley's. That's where we'll plan our escape. How you fitting in there? It's really sweet. Cute, it'd be fun for weekends. If you're a little taller, maybe the Winnebago would be a uh, more appropriate fit. There's obviously a little more headroom in this one as well. And uh, let's see, let's check into the, they put a teak floor down, put into the bath. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna hide in here. Forge there. See a shower curtain. I haven't seen the shower yet. I see a shower head back there. So this has to. Ah, the whole thing opens. Oh wow! Oh. Well, look at that. Well, that it's... is clever. Yeah. So then the uh, you're not getting a ton of water onto the sink and the toilet in the wet bath. Very clever, very, very clever. It's 
small fridge. Long though. And that's all. All your mechanic, your systems, I guess. Controls, yeah. Yeah, controls. Look at this. It's got kind of a, I don't know, almost looks like space age. <laughs> Wow, look at all that. All right, Michelle, we flirted with other campers, other units. And uh, the first one that we looked at was the Intec. Mm -hmm. Remember that? What'd you think about that? That was really neat inside. And it did remind us um, a lot of the Airstream, all the windows and how, um, light and bright and and the interior was very light colored and very rounded <laughs> it it's a very nice camper was there anything that you really didn't like about the intec i think was that the one that didn't have any hanging yeah it only um, had only had the hooks yeah to it hang. Did, doesn't have a rod for for your hanging clothes like shirts and things that are a little nicer right so and i do like that we have a couple spaces of that in our airstream let's see what was the next one we looked at the gretch the gretch that's yeah. right that's right and uh, that was a camper van if i remember right that was on the mercedes chassis one thing i didn't like about that was the height inside <laughs> it was much shorter than i anticipated yeah the ceiling was just right at your head and then the the air conditioner unit was yeah, I hit my head on it. Hit your head. <laughs> <laughs> and that would happen all the time. <laughs> yes, it would. it would. We did go look at the smaller, the barefoots. Those are cute. Oh my gosh. They're really cute and really, really fun. They have them in fun pastel colors and... Um, yeah, it was what, like a mint green? Yeah. And then the uh, pink mm -hmm. one, uh, but really like pastel. Yeah, and they're very cozy and and comfy to sit in, but obviously not to live in full time. It would just be way too small. But for those of you that are looking for something that is easy to tow and easy to maneuver, you know, you're just doing short trips. I think it would be a really great. Really fun. And I'm pretty camper. sure that's SUV towable too. I think know, so. Too. You don't need like a one ten truck to yeah. haul this thing. It's very maneuverable, very light, uh, very European mm -hmm. looking. And then unexpectedly, we went and looked at that Winnebago. Right, for those people who are tall, there may be something you're looking for that you can stand up in and not bump your head, like Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to see the inside of those because they seemed to have a higher lift on them and they did. It was very nice, you fit in there nicely. Yes, yeah, and it had that really cool shower Oh yeah, that, that had the swinging, how it would swing from one side to the other. I've never seen anything like that. No, so it's kind of, it's a wet bath that keeps the other stuff that normally gets soaking wet, your sink and your toilet in a wet bath, that looks like it keeps it dry. Mm -hmm. Of course, they didn't let us actually take a shower in it while we were there. <laughs> so after looking at all of these units, do you think we're gonna remain faithful and committed to our Airstream? I think so. I think yeah. so too. Um, we absolutely love this Airstream 28 that we have. It has everything we need. It's the perfect size, mm -hmm. just big enough and just small enough. Well, and part of this was we wanted to be able to show you out there, our followers and people who watch this channel. We did have several people say, look for this or look for that. So we tried to do that with this too, um, to bring you what other options are out there because what we have may not work for you. But what we really wanna know is what was your favorite camper that we showed through this whole thing? Leave a comment in the comment section down below and let us know your thoughts. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, maybe the subscribe button as well. We always like to have you come along on these adventures. And we hope to see you on the road less traveled. So this will be a recap, kind of a personal column of the show. What all did you think about the RV show? I thought it wasn't half bad. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what any of this stuff we're gonna use. I uh, think it's time for a pina colada. A pina colada. <laughs> yeah, and it's sunny today for not getting caught in the rain. Right? <laughs> we're nuts. <laughs> <laughs>